Hello everyone, welcome to the haul. There is a lot going on today. My name's Emily, welcome to my weekly grocery haul. We're gonna cover Costco, Aldi, Jewel, and Cermak. And we're gonna go over how much everything was here. So let's get started. Okay, now you can see me a little bit easier. Hold on. As you can see, very, very professional. Probably at least a $400, $300 tripod right now. All right, that probably added an extra 150, 200 at least. We'll just kind of go through the items, talk about them, and then we'll go over how much they are. This is what I know you guys want to know, but let's get into it. So. First and foremost, we'll go through it. We got some festive chips from Jewel. No one is ever mad about a fun, festive, colorful chip. And we just have some salsa on hand. It's something we typically have on hand all the time. So chips for that. I always like to have at least one fruit in our household. This week, I normally like to get my fruit from Costco because the quality is always pretty good and the prices aren't too bad just because i don't really know what i might find all the time at other stores so we got our fruit that we can always have on hand eat a snack pair with lunch i got two of these the other one is put away because i already started using it some classic ranch i always get condiments from aldi because they tend to be cheaper there and i will note as i talk about all these different stores bobby shops as well so it's not just me going to like four different stores luckily i'm very appreciative that i am not the only one doing the grocery shopping so that's why we're able to cover so much ground we also got some ketchup we ran out of ketchup these aren't things we're buying like every week they're more staples but we needed a restock we're trying to eat we're both trying to eat breakfast a little bit more consistently. So we went for some bagels, which will go with this cream cheese, obviously. Bagels we got from Costco. They have a deal, I think it's 79, $7.99 for 12 bagels, which seems pretty good. And I will throw these in the fridge just because we don't, we aren't always the best at eating them right away. And any type of like bread products in the fridge will help it last a little bit longer. Another staple that we are not buying this. We're not buying this every single week. This is my holy grail. I use this with every single one of my stir fries. It's just in the frozen section from Costco. The stir fry veggies. I add them to every single stir fry. And we needed more of them. We are making tacos this week. And instead of making our own fresh Mexican rice, we went for the convenience. So got this from Cermak. Cermak is a local grocery store that's near us. We go there for like emergency items and also they have really great prices. So can't be upset about that. We're gonna have chicken tikka masala this week as well for a meal. This is from Costco. It's nice because there are two packs in here. If we don't want the other pack, we can freeze it but it's another super easy, convenient meal. It won't take a lot of time. We're gonna pair it with rice, and then also Bob is gonna do some type of carrot recipe. Um, I think he got the carrot some jewel. Yeah. This is a new development. So we try to have tofu about once a week or so, and I've been trying to find the best way, to, the best place for tofu, but I have, just search Costco. We got four of these for $5.89, which like if you've ever bought these individually, they're, they can range from like three to $4 just for one, depending on where you're going. I once got one on sale for like $1.59. That was super exciting. But we got four of these for $5.89 from Costco. And I'm gonna freeze the other three so that way whenever we want them, we can just pop them in the fridge to thaw, then press them, all that fun stuff but four for five eighty nine. I'm very excited about that. We're gonna also have some Caesar salads on the side. So we have some lechuga and some iceberg lettuce as well. Both I think we got from 
Cermak as well. Like I mentioned, the cream cheese, cream cheese, like condiments, canned items, things that we can buy the off-brand for, or just like really minimal basics we'll get from Aldi just because the prices tend to be a little bit better there. Nothing super exciting. They didn't have vegetable, which was sad, but I think we'll be okay. I love all these sourdough. We're gonna use this for grilled cheeses this week. Also, we're gonna be super, it's super easy to pair with like bread, bread, pair with soups, anything on the side. I have been looking for the everything but the bagel seasoning sourdough at Aldi's for, I kid you not, probably over a year. I've only seen it once over the past year in Aldi's in Illinois, or at least the ones I've gone to, which I've gone to like at least probably like six different Aldi's in the past six to eight months. And it has not ever been there. And I'm really upset about it. And I know they still have it because my friend Hannah has it all the time. So what's up with that? Anyway, we got some things of non from Cermak. And this will go well with our tiki masala. And then the last couple things, I think that's everything, was we got the green apple to go in our grilled cheeses with our tacos. We're gonna probably add some like tacos this week. We have a tomato, we have an onion. We'll probably put some of the greens in it as well. And then I always add the, add the Ortega sauce because I could eat that on anything. So yeah, a lot of the other staples, like you might be hearing me talk about these different items that we're making and you're like, where is that? Like, sorry, that's, that's our dryer, ignore that. A lot of our staples, like protein wise, we freeze a lot of them just so they last longer. We buy them in bulk so it's cheaper. So like the ground beef is in there. The grilled cheese, we'll probably do with like our my favorite tomato soup from Costco. If you've never had the tomato and red pepper soup, it's phenomenal, highly, highly recommend. And what else are we eating? Oh, the last, oh, and the tofu. That's the other protein, yeah. So this was everything we bought, I think. I feel like I'm forgetting some food. I think this is everything. Oh, I will note that I bought some extra things at Aldi, but that was for my work secret Santa, so it might be a little bit more. So our grand total for all of this, at Costco, I spent $55.97. Jewel Bobby spent $21.30. I know at Cermak he spent $8.59, maybe? And then Aldi, it's gonna mess up my math, because. I spent $28.48, but that was including my coworker's gift. Oh wait, I forgot one thing. Hold your horses. <laughs> I forgot this. This was my like for fun purchase. I typically allow myself one of these or like, I just see something that I want and I get it. It's a sugar cookie, let's make sure. Sugar cookie white tea. We'll see how it is. Follow me on Instagram. I'll post my review of it there. But this was also fun. Put it right there. Oh. Okay. New thumbnail. Okay. So let's try to deduct that from all the. That's probably gonna be like 12, 14. Okay, so I probably spent like $14 at Aldi. So I will include the total right here of what I spent. And I will note, like, a lot of these items we're not buying every single week, like the stir fry, the tofu, all four of these. Like, we'll probably buy one. The condiments, the teas, that's the cream cheese even probably, like, that's going to last us a little bit longer. So this might not be the most, the best representation of what we're spending in a week, but it's a good idea of just kind of what we're buying, things we'll have on hand to last us and whatnot. And save some money as well. So I hope you enjoyed. That's what a dietitian purchases in a week with groceries. If you'd like to see more content like this, let me know, leave a comment, leave a like. Otherwise, we'll catch you next week. Hi, so as I was putting everything away, I forgot, I, can, I completely forgot about one last thing I got. 
Yeah. We got eggs from Costco. Very not exciting, but I was going through and putting stuff away. I'm like, oh, I forgot this. So, all right. Peace.